Hello and welcome to SB Race Engineering. I'm Jez and this is our very first car sales video. Now we're known first and foremost for Italian exotica, supercars and classic cars. But today we're gonna to start with something a bit different. We're gonna start with this. The Renault 5 Turbo 2. Now, as an 80s kid and a massive fan of rallying, this car is a bit of me. Instantly recognisable by its silhouette, often misdescribed, and indeed a lot of people I've spoken to about this car have said, oh, you've got a Gordini for sale. Oh, it's a, it's, it's, yeah, my mate had one of them, it's a Raider. This isn't a normal 5 Turbo, obviously. It's not a Gordini. The Gordini was a, a slim body, front engine car. This was a homologation special for rallying back in the 80s mid-engined, 1.4 litre, 158 horsepower, which is not much by today's standards, but back in the 80s uh, was something to talk about. And obviously those aggressive arches and wheels designed purely for rallying. <laughs> So the idea of filming our cars for sale at SB Race Engineering isn't just to walk around giving you an overview. There's plenty of detail like that already on the website. The idea is to get out in the cars and go for a drive. So let's stop talking and do some of that. So here we are, Renault 5 Turbo 2. And the first time it's been driven in the UK. Reason being, this car was found in a barn in Japan and rescued by our client, who got it back to the UK and got it sorted to what we see today. It's never been driven on the UK roads because it hasn't been registered in the UK yet. So actually I'm the first person to drive it before the owner. And we've had to come somewhere private to use the roads and give it a bit of a test. So this car has been gone over from top to bottom. The chassis has been repaired, repainted, refreshed. It's all good, the brakes, the suspension have been overhauled. The engine's been out, refreshed. ARP bolts gone in there, gearbox out, rebuilt, interior, retrimmed. New bumpers, wheels refurbished new rubbers, the wiring loom has been apart and sorted. No surprise there on a French car, I guess, that that needed doing. The only thing that hasn't been looked at is the paintwork. The paintwork is genuine, it's original, this pearlescent shade of white, which looks amazing in this sunlight we've got today. That's been left as it is. It's not perfect, but it's good, and it retains its original Patina, if you're into that. The amount of attention this car gets is crazy. I've driven a lot of stuff in my time that gets a lot of attention. But everyone I've driven past in this, they either don't know what it is, or they, they do know what it is, and they can't believe they're seeing one. You just don't see Renault 5s anymore, really, do you? The car itself, I mean, I've driven a lot of cars, like I say, but I've never ever driven one of these. It's a bit like meeting one of your heroes. 
and I was hoping it wouldn't disappoint me and it hasn't it's great it's, it's a load of fun it's so very 80s it's so old school you forget how far we have come on in technology but it's still a lot of fun is it fast by today's standards? Yeah, it still goes. Very old school power delivery. All the power's up high, not much down below when it's off boost. It's still quick. It feels like it could handle another 100 horsepower load, this chassis. But because it's so light, it does feel quick for 160 horsepower. Now when you think the rally cars, the Maxis in particular, which was the last of these Group B rally cars, were running 350 horsepower. You can imagine what a weapon they must have been back in the day. feels really direct. It smells great. It smells of like the 80s. Now, there is a bit of a link between the Italian stuff we are known for doing normally and this little French car, and that is that Renault asked for help from a designer called Marcello Gandini from Bertoni when they designed this car. And he was better known for designing the Lamborghini Miura, the, the Tommaso Pantera, and even the Lancia Stratos. So there's a bit of Italian heritage almost in it. So I guess at some point, I'm going to have to go and put this back on the trailer and take it home. But the truth is, actually, I'm really enjoying myself. The power delivery when it comes in, you feel the boost coming now, it's quite addictive. I'm enjoying it, I want to go somewhere in it. Let's go and find Stuart. So there we go. They say, don't meet your heroes. But I met one of mine today and it didn't disappoint. What a load of fun that is. And you know what, I can see why they are becoming so collectible and desirable. Anyway, more details on this car and others on our website, sbraceengineering.co.uk or give us a call on the number on the website, press option two to get through the sales. We'll be back soon with more videos like this. Like and subscribe. Thanks, thanks for watching.